Jeff from ToleratedCinematics.com and with Halloween lying around the corner I thought of making another intro tutorial around that concept. So this is what we are going to create today. Enjoy. Alright, so that's a pretty cool intro. Let's start creating and open up After Effects. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and we will be creating this awesome intro. Um, by the way, if you don't wish to follow this tutorial or you want to support our channel, you can actually buy this template on our website. So link will be in the description and for those that do want to get started, let's get started. So I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to create a new composition, call it Main Comp and then create a new background layer like we mostly do. So background. And right now I'm just going to add my text immediately. So uh, click on the text tool, click over here and write a bloody uh, title, for example. I'm going to select my text, control A, and then I'm going right over here and I'm going to search for bloody cray. Uh, you won't have this installed in standard on your computer. You will have to uh, find that online. Uh, but you have a lot of fonts that you can use. Um, but I like to use something that's uh, kind of bloody uh, in the same kind of style. Uh, so that's why I'm using this font. Um, once you have your text all set up, you can go to the align tool and just center it out like so. Um, I'm going to change my color of the text to something red like so. Uh, maybe a little bit more saturated, so uh, we can maybe make it a little bit darker, but still saturated. And there we go. Okay, and now we are going to create a new solid. Create, rename it to Fractal Noise. And add the effect Fractal Noise. And this is actually a very powerful plugin. Um, if you watch my tutorials, uh, you will, yeah, you will notice that I'm using this a lot, and you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. So. The fractal type, we are going to change it to something like summary or uh, something like terrain. So, it, well, it's not terrain, it's subscale. Uh, you can choose subscale or summary. Uh, I think these two look very good. And then you can play around with the invert right here. And actually, you can also use a, um, yeah, a combination of both if you want to. So um, I will keep at Smiri for now with the invert selected. And yeah, then you can play around with the contrast a little bit and just try to find something that suits you. Maybe increase the, con um, the complexity right here. Um, maybe try 12, maybe try 6 and see the difference. Um, I'm going to keep it at 6 for now. And then I'm going to hold Alt and click on the stopwatch for the evolution. Right here, I'm going to enter time times 50, uh, so it gets a small animation, and uh, this is a simple code. Um, well, I won't go over this, I've been over this in every single tutorial that I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, um, this just animates my text like you can see right here. It gives a, a little bit of a motion to the fractal noise. Alright, if you want to speed it up, just increase the number. And then we can also go into transform, maybe scale it up a little bit. Um, actually, I'm going to keep it at 100 because I think it looks great. And then at the beginning of my timeline, I will click on the stopwatch for offset turbulence. Then go to the end of my timeline and just offset the turbulence uh, to the right. So we have a motion uh, of the blood actually going to the right. And actually, I'm going to change this 50 to 150 uh, so it's a little bit faster. All right, so this is looking pretty cool. Um, I think we are all set for the fractal noise, and now you can actually duplicate it if you want to, and yeah, try something different like the subscale right here, and then just uh, play with the toggle switches and the mode right here, and then just uh, go through all of these, check what it does, and does it do anything interesting? Not really, and then just scroll through all of these uh, settings here. Um, well, of course, you have to have it selected. Um, and yeah, this way you can actually get some really cool combinations um, out of it. I think this one looks pretty cool. Alright, I will keep it at lighten and then I'm also going to lower the opacity just a bit. So it actually fills a bit the gaps in there. So now we have a motion like this. So one fractal noise at Smurry and one with the subscale. Um, of course, you can also play with the transform a little bit, so maybe we can increase that, but actually I'm going to keep it at 100 again, uh, but I'm just going to increase uh, the contrast a little bit more. There we go. 
Now I'm going to select both of these uh, fractal noises and I'm going to right click, well, I'm going to layer, pre-compose and I'm going to pre-compose this as a blood comp and click OK. And then I'm going to the effect, color correction, color rama. And if you go to the output right now, <laughs> it's pretty um, nasty, but if we are going to change uh, the ramp right here, we're going to get something like this, which is instantly cooler, of course. So we have the color right now. Uh, we still need to give it that nice specular that blood has. Um, if you go to effects and presets, you can actually search for CC glass, uh, which is under stylize. And if you drag this onto your blood comp, uh, you will see that it instantly changes. And now again, it's up to you to play around with these settings and see what works and what doesn't. So uh, play around a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to keep it at something like 20 or maybe even higher. It's getting better. And then play with the height. You can also go in the opposite direction. So just do it very slowly. Also with the displacement, if we're going to change this, we're going to get something different. And the softness actually should be less. All right, so it's a lot of playing around actually. Okay, this is starting to look something, uh, looks pretty cool. And the light height, let's see. I'm going to keep it at this level here. So I have a light height of 75, a softness of 4, height of 7, uh, 240 displacement. And if we're going to toggle this off and on, you can see a lot more detail and it's actually like it has some depth in there. So that's pretty cool. So if we're going to animate this, uh, we get something like that. It's not actual blood, but it's like thick, uh, something gory. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can do a lot of other cool things with this as well, so it's not only for the title. And actually, uh, what I've done is just uh, kept this um, blood comp, and then I just uh, took the ellipse tool here, made a wide ellipse right here, moved it a little bit into posi uh, position here, and then changed the mask to subtract, and also feathered it out a lot more, like so. And actually, uh, what you should do before applying the mask is actually pre-composing everything or keeping everything in the other comps. So um, I'm just going to copy these. I'm going to cut them. So edit, cut, enter the comp here, right click, new adjustment layer and paste it on there. Now we have the same effect in that composition. And now we can actually uh, do the mask again in the main comp. And then subtract it and feather it. Okay, I'm going to move my mask a little bit better into position and feather it even more. What you can do as well is search for roughen edges and add that to the comp. Now you get these roughen edges, so um, I will toggle off my mask right now. And right here you can uh, just make sure the edge sharpness isn't as sharp and just scale it down as well. And that way you can do some really cool stuff, maybe feather it even more. And there we go. And then right click new, um, actually on the background layer, we're going to the effect uh, generate fill. And we're going to add just a very dark uh, red color. Like so. And then for the text as well, we're also going to pre-compose this. So text layer, pre-compose, tile, so you can actually always change it. And also apply the glass effect to our text. All right, go to the surface, uh, a height of something like 10, and then uh, play around with everything else. So less softness. Increase it just a little bit. And 
and this will thicken it a little bit. Increase the speckler. And decrease the diffuse here. And we can actually also remove a little bit of the ambient. And there we go. And just remove the softness. Maybe something like 10 should work. And a height of 5. Alright. Now we can also add a drop shadow if we want to to give it some depth. So add a drop shadow. And a distance of something like 10. Move it a little bit like so. Okay. And we get a softness of something like 2 or 3. And there we go. We have some uh, shadow. We can actually maybe a little bit more. Uh, something like 12. Alright. Toggle it on and off, we get some depth in there, so that's also pretty cool. Um, I'm actually going to scale up my text, so I'm going to get into the composition for my text and just make it larger. Move it to the bottom a little bit and go back to that comp. Okay, so now it pops a little bit more. And for the background, I'm going to make it even darker. So the uh, contrast between the title is uh, big enough, so now we get something like this. And we can right click adjustment layer and add a vignette. Vignette. And again, the ellipse tool, double click on it, subtract it, and yeah, you can show it by clicking on this one here. Now we get the mask and press F on the keyboard to feather it out. Go to effects, color correction, curves, and bring down the curves like so. So now the edges get a little bit darker and we get this nice vignette. And this just adds a lot more depth in the scene. So uh, I like to do that um, a lot in these intro titles. And then right click new adjustment layer again and do final grade. Rename it to final grade. And uh, we can add an effect color correction and a tint. And maybe change the amount to something like 25. Go to effects again, color correction, curves, add some contrast in there, so make this nice S-curve. And then we can play around with everything else, so do you want to, to remove some greens, add greens, um, that's not actually what I wanted to do, I just wanted to add a little bit of blue in the shadows, like so. There we go. Looking good, okay. So a pretty cool intro. Now we only have to reveal our text because right now it's it's just sitting there. Um, now what we can do is actually go to the effects and presets again. And for the, uh, we are going to search for linear wipe. And uh, we're going to drag this on our title. And if we're going to try and remove our text, you can see if you increase the value for the transition completion, uh, it's going to take away our text. Uh, we want it to be the other way around, so now uh, wipe angle, we're in, instead of uh, plus positive 90, uh, we're going to change it to negative 90. And that way, if we decrease it, um, it's actually going to reveal the title, so now we have something like this. So set the transition completion at 100%, click on the stopwatch, move 2 seconds maybe, and decrease it to 0. And then go to, uh, to somewhere in the middle and you will see that your text is cut off very sharply. Uh, we can increase this with the feather, so increase the feather. There we go, and now we have a nice fade. If you like that, that's fine. Uh, but if you want something more, you can also add the rough and edges effect again on top of your title, and then you will uh, get these nice uh, rough and edges, of course. So scale, play with the scale to something like 50, um, also increase the complexity maybe to something like 6, um, remove the sharpness uh, to something like half, and increase the feather maybe even more so you can actually see the fractal. Um, actually I'm going to increase the scale, and maybe add a little bit less sharpness as well. And let's preview this uh, just to see what we get here. Alright, let's play it back. And there we have it, so this is the title. Uh, pretty cool, and actually, uh, if you want to, you can also animate the um, rough and edges right here, because you can see it's, it's still sitting there. Uh, you can play with the evolution again, so maybe Alt-click time times 100, 
and maybe offset it also to the right so click on the turbulence offset and offset it to the right I'm going to change this to half resolution so I can actually uh, preview it a little bit faster because the glass effect is taking a lot of uh, CPU usage um, then apart from that I want to add a little pan so I'm going to select everything um, go to layer pre-compose um, name it to bloody sequence ah your bloody title um, and then we're going to scale it from uh, 0, well 100, put that keyframe at the beginning so you can also uh, start right here, click a keyframe, go to the end of your timeline and just zoom it to uh, 110 and then if we're going, we're going to do that it's going to look a lot cooler. Alright, so this is my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel to see more. And yeah, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.